uh, I express my gratitude for the organizers for this opportunity, especially for Dr. Andres Posito. Uh, I come from Mexico City. I'm the director of the nutrition department in the National Health Institute. I do not have any conflict of interest related with, it, with this presentation. Uh, the organizers asked me to review the peculiarities of type 2 diabetes in Latin America. The, the inclusion of this topic is a good proof of the importance of collaboration and networking of this meeting. In this talk, I will, talk about, I will review the distinctive uh, aspects of type 2 diabetes in our countries, the genetics of type 2 diabetes uh, 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 as a, a potential explanation for the high prevalence and high social impact that has the disease for us, and the areas of opportunities against diabetes by studying specific uh, populations. As you know, Latin America has a huge problem with type 2 diabetes. Almost every country uh, suffers uh, an epidemic of diabetes, being the highest prevalence in Mexico and Brazil. However, uh, we should highlight that there are some specific uh, characteristics in our countries that, that should be recognized. For example, the, day, the age of onset of the disease is much more earlier in, in uh, Latin Americans compared to other uh, uh, regions. Also, the, there is a high percentage of undiagnosed cases that there is a large heterogeneity among our health systems. You can have the state-of-the-art uh, treatments, but also a large proportion of the population will have troubles getting the basic medications. And also, the uh, efficiency of the health systems is less than ideal. Uh, one example is Mexico, in which the, the growth of the disease uh, get uh, in putting big troubles the health systems from uh, the prevalence move from four percent to nearly nine point nine point percent in uh, from 1994 to 2016 and if you consider also the cases that are not recognized and incorporated to the medical system the 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 size of the problem is even bigger moving from 6.7 to 14 for 0.4%. The, the population that is affected by diabetes is a little bit different in our countries compared to the Europeans. For example, 22% of all the diagnosed uh, patients uh, are uh, identified before they become uh, 40 years. As a consequence, they will have to live with the disease for more than 20 years, having a, a remarkable impact in the quality of life and in the society. The productivity of uh, these individuals are remarkably lower compared to the population. These findings uh, has made uh, changes in the screening approach of the health system that are focused mainly in individuals all, older than age uh, 50, uh, losing the opportunity to identify these early onset cases. Uh, the impact of type 2 diabetes should be measured not only about mortality, also we should include morbidity and, and loss of quality of life. Uh, this graph uh, uh, comes for the Global Burden of Disease Project, you can uh, see that the, uh, global, the images coming from Brazil and Mexico are quite different for that coming, world, uh, coming for the whole world. Uh, as stronger, the bigger the, the square and the stronger the blue is the size of the magnitude of the problem. Uh, as you see, uh, in, in Mexico, diabetes and CKD uh, occupies a large proportion of the chronic diseases uh, in addition to uh, coronary uh, heart disease. And very similar happens in Brazil uh, compared to the smaller impact that has in other parts of the world. Uh, in addition, uh, some of, of other complications like the uh, diabetic nephropathy, retinopathy, and diabetic food has a huge impact in our countries. Uh, furthermore, the adiposity required for the expression of the disease is lower than observed in Caucasian populations. Several phenotypes that come together with type 2 diabetes are more common 
in, in our ethnic groups, for example, high triglycerides, low HDL, and NASH are much more frequently associated with type 2 diabetes in Latin Americans compared to Caucasians. And finally, the interaction between the environment and chronic disease it, uh, increments the impact of type 2 diabetes, enhancing the number of tuberculosis, influenza, influenza HIV, among, among other uh, infectious disorders. One of the potential explanations for this higher susceptibility for having type 2 diabetes is the ethnic origin of our population. In Latin America, a uh, uh, mixed population is a common finding. This, uh, the, the admixture of the Mexican population is shown in this graph. 63% of our heritage come from American Indians, 3% for West Africans, and 34% from America, uh, for Europeans. Our, our group has the opportunity co to collaborate with the uh, a broad institute in several uh, lines of research, and one of uh, them is to identify the heritage of the, me the Mexican and the other Indian populations that live in, in America. And we found that uh, a common ancestry uh, is uh, present for all Amerindians living south of the U.S.-Mexico border, so uh, the uh, genetic find findings that we can do in Mexico is also applicable to all the uh, American uh, uh, native communities. Uh, as, as you know, uh, type 2 diabetes is a highly polygenic disorder. The, the main gene uh, involved in type 2 diabetes is TCF7L2. That, as, as you see, is associated with a uh, relatively small odds ratio for having the disease, only 1.7. There are some monogenic disorders, but, uh, but the population impact of this monogenic disorder are quite low. Although there are multiple uh, genetic uh, uh, loci that has been involved in type 2 diabetes, uh, uh, there are remarkable variations between populations. To analyze this in, in the Latin American population, we established a collaboration with the Broad Institute and did a genome-wide association study, including 10,000 cases and controls, and also an exome sequencing uh, study, including 4,000 individuals. What we found, uh, published in Nature uh, uh, five years ago, is that uh, the vast majority of the genetic associations found in Caucasians could be uh, replicated in our populations. Uh, for example, the main uh, type 2 diabetes gene, TCF7L2, uh, was present in 23% of the patients with type 2 diabetes in Mexico. But also, the, the main finding of the paper is that there was two, uh, two ethnic specific allele that has not been vinculated with type 2 diabetes, uh, and both has uh, a remarkable impact in the pathogenesis of the disease. The first one, called SLC16A11, uh, it was associated with an odds ratio of 1.28, very close to that has uh, to the data reported with TCF7L2. And in addition, a, a polymorphism located in the MODI3 uh, gene, the HNF1-alpha, uh, was present in 2% of the patients with type 2 diabetes in Mexico, and it was associated with a strong odds odd ratio for having the disease. I will focus my presentation in, in the first one of the finding because before, previous to this report, no knowledge exists about this transporter. Uh, this finding has two main uh, uh, implications. The first one is that uh, it, it's a, a new mechanism involved uh, in diabetes, and now is being developed uh, drugs uh, and approaches uh, as a new way to treat uh, type 2, 2 diabetes. And also, it talks about genetics, because the, the only uh, genome in which this polymorphism was found was in the Neanderthal genetic contribution uh, data bank. Uh, at this time, uh, we, we review all the data banks in the world, and the only place in which was found this variant is, is in this uh, collection of information. 
Mexicans do, uh, has a lower percentage of the Neanderthal genome compared to Caucasians. In Mexicans, it's only 2% of the uh, whole genome uh, comes from Neanderthal. In Caucasian, it's 4%. So uh, it should be some uh, specific uh, advantage to uh, conserve this, uh, this variant. SLC 16811 uh, is a uh, form pumps, a, a group of transporters that binds to small molecules, mainly amino acids, uh, uh, thyroid hormones, uh, beta hydroxybutyrate. Uh, almost uh, all members of the Krebs uh, cycle is, uh, is, uh, fulfills this requirement. SLC 16A11. Uh, for uh, is of the class of the H couple uh, transporters, and they need also an ancillary protein, in this case, basigene. Uh, in vitro studies show it that uh, the knockout of these transporters results in lipotoxicity in HeLa cells and also in liver culture cells. Uh, the, the cells accumulate triglycerides inside of the cells, uh, uh, become lipotoxic, that is the main uh, pat uh, pathophysiological explanation most accepted for type 2 diabetes. Uh, the, the findings of this study was extended later in, in the cell publication in which uh, uh, the secondary structure of the transporter was reported and also the mechanism by which this haplotype found in Mexicans is associated to type uh, 2 diabetes was disclosed. Uh, the, the careers of these haplotypes has a decreased expression of the transporters and also has a reduced interaction with the uh, uh, with basigene, resulting in the decreased number of transporters in the cells. This transporter is specific for pyruvate. That uh, this finding has a remarkable impact because pyruvate is a critical uh, driver of the uh, homeostasis inside the cell. Uh, the conclusion at this stage in 2016 is that the careers of this uh, risk allele has a decreased gene expression, a decreased number of transporters located in the cell, and as a result, accumulation of acyl carnitines, uh, diacylglycerol and triacylglycerol, causing uh, them lipotoxicity and uh, increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes. Our group extended this observation uh, doing uh, in, uh, in vivo and in humans study, and it was published a few months ago in the European Journal of Endocrinologists. And we conclude that the, this risk haplotype is associated with decreased insulin action, higher transaminase concentrations, and larger site adipocytes. Then, as you know, uh, these are associated with uh, uh, metabolic comorbidities. The, one of the main findings is that the careers of, of this uh, risk allele uh, has higher concentrations of ALT, SAT, and GGT, especially when they coexist with type 2 diabetes. We are com uh, currently, we are trying to prove that this haplotype is also a, a risk factor for having NASH. Uh, we did a, a CLAM study in which me we measured the M value in the careers matched for age, sex, and a a a A1C values. And as you can see, the M value is, uh, was uh, significantly lower for the careers. Also, if you control for the free fatty mass. Uh, we obtained uh, uh, fat biopsies of the careers, and we found that the distribution of the size of the adipocytes was remarkably different. The bigger uh, adipocytes that are usually dysfunctional uh, were more abundant in the careers, and also the small uh, size adipocytes are less common uh, among uh, these individuals. We try to integrate the pathophysiology in, in this picture. As this is a uh, selective transporter for pyruvate, pyruvate cannot accumulate inside of the cell. Uh, the usual uh, destiny of uh, pyruvate is to move to, uh, to the mitochondria to be part of the generation of ATP. 
as uh, there is a decreased number of transporters, uh, pyruvate should move to another uh, metabolic change, preferably lipogenesis. Also, it could be converted in lactate. Lactate could move out of the cell and move to the liver. Uh, uh, as you know, lactate is a precursor of uh, uh, glucose production, increasing uh, the fa fasting glucose concentration. Also, lactate is a promoter of the, the, the size of the adipocytes and is a major determinant of the diameter and functionality of adipocytes. So uh, we believe that this uh, single defect uh, can have remarkable effect in uh, hepatic glucose production and by distance in the function of the adipocytes. Uh, these studies also are extended looking for association with uh, diabetic nephropathy, uh, cardiovascular disease, and retinopathy. Uh, we have preliminary data that we uh, show a trend with association with diabetic nephropathy. Uh, uh, and this association is not only limited to type 2 diabetes, we are exploring if also uh, they are associated with NASH, that is a defect uh, very commonly seen in type 2 diabetes. Uh, and this is not an unusual uh, finding. In Latin Americans, it has been reported other variants that, is, uh, that are specific with other metabolic disorders, as happens with low HDL cholesterol, a variant called R230C, uh, located in ABCA1. There are also ethnic specific variants in APOE5, MLXIPL, and C3 associated with high triglycerides. And for NASH, the, the most strong, uh, most known association in PNPA LA3 was identified in Mexican Americans. Uh, and we uh, uh, propose that this, exactly the same uh, phenomena should be going in the complications. For example, in Mexico and in other Latin American countries, diabetic nephropathy becomes a huge problem. Uh, Mexico has one of the biggest. Uh, uh, health uh, burden of the disease uh, caused by diabetic nephropathy. So the, an this is an opportunity to collaborate in the search of the genes involved in the increased susceptibility for diabetic nephropathy in these undeserved uh, populations. I, I, I want to finish my presentation making some, uh, uh, some reflections. First, uh, the, the research that uh, are done globally are applicable for many parts of the world, but we, we, should, we should account in the peculiarities of each one of the populations. For example, Latin America is a perfect scenario in which environment, the peculiarity of, of the users of the health systems, and even the, 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 the health systems by itself uh, needs to be adjusted and modified to fulfill the, the promise to give health to, every, to everybody, uh, to work together between uh, England, the US, uh, and the Latin American countries, make possible that these peculiarities uh, could be analyzed in deep, and the, the knowledge that we generate could be useful for another countries. The times in which uh, a, a single institution could provide knowledge, especially in Latin America, uh, should come to, to the end. Uh, I finish my presentation with this citation. It's difficult to go uh, your own way in the village, even one that is global. But the success of science has been crossing the separate strands of, of thought and practice more, be more innovative at the edge of the core. The iconoclastic, the maverick, and the marginal may find a highly collaborated world a difficult place to flourish. Uh, this convention is the good proof that this, this is the case. I hope that at the end of this convention, more points, uh, that each point is a collaboration between uh, one institution, between uh, America and the US or, or Europe. I hope at the end of this uh, meeting, more points of collaboration will exist in this graph. I finished uh, presenting the names of the people that has collaborated in these projects and I express my gratitude to them and for all of you for your attention. Thank you.